Hello, my name is Caden Stevens, Technical Marketing Engineer for Cisco's Software Defined Access Solution Team. Today, I'm going to be going over the second part in our four part series of building SDA from scratch. Today, we'll be talking about network segmentation and group based policy. I did a brief overview of what SD Access is in the first video of the series. So if you feel like you need to go back and watch that, please feel free to do so. If you want to get more familiar with SDA before we hop into Cisco DNA Center, please check out our different SDA videos on our channel or check out the latest Cisco DNA Center data sheet. All right, so with creating a group-based security policy, we need to understand that security policies determine the types of network traffic permitted or denied between scalable groups. Scalable groups are a critical component of the Cisco software-defined access architecture providing secure micro-segmentation for SD access infrastructure. Group-based security policies identify a specific source and destination group pair and associate an access contract. The access contract specifies what types of traffic are permitted or denied between a source group and a destination group. These policies are unidirectional. They allow intent-based networking and enable you to configure segmentation for the users, devices, and resources in your network. Cisco DNA Center helps you create and manage security policies for your entire network. In addition, with Cisco DNA Center, you can easily propagate security policies to your users and devices through Cisco Identity Services Engine, or ICE for short. Let's go ahead and get started, and we'll head to Policy, Group-Based Access Control, And we'll get a warning message here saying that in order to begin using Cisco DNA Center as an administration point for group based access control, Cisco DNA Center must migrate policy data from the Cisco Identity Services Engine. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this migration. And we'll click yes. And we'll see that migration is in progress. and it's already completed. So getting started with our policies, I'll go ahead and click policies. And I see that I already have two policies in place. So let's go ahead and add another. We'll hit create policies in the top right hand corner. And I wanna hit source to destination. Next, we're gonna select the scalable group that we want to use as our source. I'll go ahead and scroll down to guest and click next. And then now we'll select the scalable group or groups that we want to use as our destination. I'll go ahead and scroll down to employees and click next. After that, we can select the access contract to determine the traffic flow type that is allowed or denied between the source scalable group and the destination scalable group. You can also create your own contract if you don't see what you want is listed here in the default options. I'm going to go ahead and select deny IP to deny traffic between guests and employees. I'll click next. So here we are at our summary page. We'll go ahead and hit save now. And our policy has now been saved. On this page, we get to see a nice matrix of our policy set. And we see if we scroll down to guests and at the cross section of employees, we get to see the policy that we just put into play. After you create a policy, it's saved, but it's not automatically deployed to the users and devices in your network. In order to do that, we're going to have to come over here to the top left hand corner, hit deploy, and we can choose to deploy now or schedule a deploy. We'll hit deploy now. And we'll see in the bottom right hand corner, we got a success message that our deploy status is done. All right, thank you for checking out part two of our four part series of building SDA from scratch, where we went over network segmentation and group based policy. Please feel free to check out more videos on our channel and please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Take care.